Hi, my name is Christy and I'm a Youth Services Librarian at the Westmont Public Library. Today I'm going to talk to you about four of the 2021 Rebecca Cottle Book Award nominees. Cottle nominees are intended for Illinois students in grades four to eight. All of these titles are available in print at the library and some are available to download as books or audiobooks through Overdrive's Libby app or Hoopla. First up is New Kid, a graphic novel by Jerry Craft. This is the story of seventh grade artist Jordan Banks and his first year at the prestigious, private, mostly white school that his parents decide he should attend. Each day, he travels between his neighborhood apartment and his upscale school struggling to fit in both places while staying true to himself. Jerry Craft's artwork is full color with varying panel sizes and chapters are introduced with bold two-page spreads. Jordan's sketchbook art stands out in black and white, giving the reader a glimpse into his thoughts and feelings. The dialogue is authentic with voices that middle schoolers can relate to. New Kid is at times funny, at times heartbreaking, and always real. A book that middle schoolers will find affirmation in or revelation in, and a powerful contemporary school story. In The Parker Inheritance by Varian Johnson, 12-year-old Candace spends the summer in South Carolina with her mom and discovers an old letter left by her beloved grandmother. Candace teams up with her neighbor and fellow book lover, Brandon, to unravel a decades-old mystery that will restore her grandmother's good name and bring money to the town. Told in flashbacks to the 1950s Jim Crow South and interspersed with Candace and Brandon's modern-day adventures, the mystery is revealed in bits and pieces, similar to the classic book The Westing Game. The story addresses bullying, racism, and oppression friendship, family, love, and more. Great characters, meaningful layers, and a fun puzzle combine to make the Parker Inheritance a must read for fans of mystery and history. Next up is Drum Roll Please by Lisa Jen Bigelow. The day before Melly leaves for music camp with her best friend Olivia, her parents tell her they're getting a divorce. Reeling from this news, Melly does her best to navigate the next two weeks. Feeling left behind by extrovert Olivia, making new friends, learning how to express herself through her music, and experiencing her first kiss. Melly's camp experience brings her out of her shell and helps her find her voice. Bigelow brings the angst and drama of friendship to life at Camp Rockaway. Middle school readers will recognize the courage of the characters and be inspired to follow their own beat. And finally, in the miscalculations of Lightning Girl by Stacy McAnulty. Lucy Callahan was struck by lightning four years ago, but she's fine. If you call being a mathematical genius and rarely leaving her apartment, fine. She's been homeschooled by her grandmother and now 12 has her sights set on college. Her grandmother has other plans. Here's the deal. Lucy must attend middle school for one year, make one friend, participate in one activity, and read one book that is not math related. Then she can go to college. For a girl whose social skills are not very well exercised, this is a huge challenge. You don't have to love math to enjoy this book. The glimpse into the mind and heart of a girl who doesn't fit the norm will make readers laugh, cry, and cheer for Lucy while learning to celebrate what is special about each of us. Thank you for listening today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in more book talks like this. And have a great day.